Hello students and welcome to the proof of the uh, corresponding angles theorem. So the first thing we're going to do here is cross out these words postulate because it's really not a postulate. Okay, a postulate suggests that we can't prove it and this is definitely a theorem okay, that we've, uh, we've, we are able to prove. Okay, so let's see first what this theorem says. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, so here's a line, here's a transversal. First of all, if the lines are parallel, uh, then the pairs of cor or corresponding angles are congruent. So this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. Okay. So this basically says if L1 is parallel to L2, then angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And uh, I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to um, try and prove this statement is true. Okay? And again, this is uh, not exactly easy to do. We look at this and we assume that that must be true, and we're probably right. But in order to really be sure, we have to prove it. So we're going to do this proof once again uh, by contradiction. So we're going to prove by uh, contradiction. Okay. So first statement that we're going to make is that assume angle 1 is not congruent to angle 2. And so either the measure of angle 1 is bigger than the measure of angle 2 or the measure of angle 2 is bigger than the measure of angle 1. Okay, so one of these expressions must be true. So either either they are congruent or one is bigger or two is bigger. Those are the only three possibilities. Okay? And what we're going to show is that show that these are impossible. Show that these lead to a contradiction. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's start with the first line here. You'll see that both of these lines are fairly easy to show. So uh, assume the measure of angle one is bigger than the measure of angle two. So let me redraw this picture and show you what this looks like. So I don't want to mess up the original picture. Okay, so let's look at this picture. And one of the things that we do know that is one of our given statement is that line 1 and line 2 are parallel. So we know that already. So I can make that update in my picture here. This is L1. Let's see, that's right. No, that's L2. And this is L1. Uh, this is angle 1 up here, and then this is angle 2 down here. Okay. And so let's pretend that angle angle 1 is bigger. Okay. So since the measure of angle 1 is bigger than the measure of angle 2, there is a angle inside of angle 1 that is equal or congruent to angle 2. So because 1 is bigger than 2, or at least that's the assumption that we're making, then there's got to be something inside of here that's uh, the same thing as 2. So in other words, what we're saying is that 1 is bigger than 2, so 2 can fit inside of 1. So call this angle, angle 4. 
So let's make this green angle, this little green angle here, angle four, and call this line L4. So this green line here is L4. And L4 intersects L1, uh, intersects L2 and L3 in such a way that there's a smaller angle inside of it, angle 4, that's also equal to angle 2. And so here comes the contradiction. And as we're solving these, pr making these proofs, you should think to yourself, where is the contradiction going to come from? How is, what exactly is it that we're going to violate? So, we know that angle 4 is congruent to angle 2, because all we're saying that there's something inside of 1 that is congruent to 2. 4 is congruent to 2, so line 4 is parallel to line 1. And this is the corresponding angles converse. This is the corresponding angles converse that we proved a little bit earlier. Now, since this is uh, since this line four is parallel to line one, um, it creates an interesting problem. Let's see. So. 1 is parallel to 2, 1 is parallel to 4, but 2 is not parallel to 4. Let's try that again. 1 is parallel to 2, 2 is parallel to, f uh, or 1 is parallel to, let me write this out here. So we have 1, line 1 is parallel to line 2, line 2 is parallel to line Line 1 is also parallel to line 4, but line 4 is not parallel to line 2. So 1 and 2, 1 and 4, but not 2 and 4. So um, let's also make a point here called P. And let's consider the case here. So we have, so we can say that there are two lines parallel to line one, to L one, to uh, to L one. Okay, those two those two lines are L two and L four. And not only that, both of the lines, L2 and L4, pass through point P. So you have two lines parallel to line 1 and they also go through point P, so they, this violates Euclid's fifth postulate. Okay. So this is a direct violation of Euclid's fifth postulate. That means we have a contradiction. Okay. Therefore, the assumption is wrong. So the assumption, remember again, was that uh, measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle 2. So the measure of angle 1 is not greater than the measure of angle 2. Okay, so half of the proof is done. And you should do this as an exercise for yourself. Try to prove the second part. Try to make this assumption, angle 2 is bigger than angle 1, and then show why that leads to a contradiction as well. So once we eliminated, so we've already eliminated this now.
This is what we've been able to do. We've eliminated this. Okay. Now we need to eliminate this line too. So once we are show that the second possibility leads to a contradiction, uh, then we can say that we're done. Okay. All right. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm not going to finish this proof. I'll do it in a separate video because I really like you should really be able to do this on your own. It's very similar to what we've done so far already. As always, if you have a hard time with this, you should ask for help and be proactive about it. These proofs are challenging for sure, but um, with some work and some help, we can definitely do it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.